Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Wild Life Around Me. Today our topic is going to be 10 facts about the Jello Jacket. In case you have no idea of how a Jello Jacket looks like, this is how a Jello Jacket looks like. Now that you know how the animal of today looks like, now let's actually get into the 10 facts. Fact number one. Fact number one. Fact number one is that jello jackets are actually beneficial insects. They are beneficial insects because they actually eat other insects that feed on your plants in your garden and flowers that you're harvesting in your garden. And they also eat housefly and housefly larvae. Fact number two. Fact number two. Fact number two is that jello jackets and wasps are aggressive. They try their best to avoid humans, but if they actually encounter a human and the human is going to bother it, it will get aggressive and they sting and it hurts. Fact number three. Fact number three. Should you kill jello jackets and wasps? As I said before, jello jackets and wasps are beneficial animals, so you should not kill them. You should you just let them be. Do the same as they do. Try to avoid them as much as possible and everything's going to be okay. Fact number four. So in fact number four, their habitat. Both jello jackets and wasps can live in meadows, playgrounds, woodlands. They can even live in urban and suburban areas. They all build nests, but they have their nest preferences. Oh, and by the way, if their nest is not close to a window or a door, don't destroy it. Fact number five. Fact number five, we have their predators, bears, skunks, they all gain their maximum protein percentage by eating insects. So that makes the jello jackets predators, bears, and skunks. And even depending on your location, moles and badgers include themselves as predators of the jello jacket and wasp too. Fact number six. On fact number six, we got their diet. Yellow jackets, like most flying insects, feed themselves of sweet substances like flower nectar, fruits, and substances that have a high percentage of sugar, for example, soda that they find laying around. And the interesting thing, yellow jackets make their high protein percentage when they're in larva stage. That is cool. Fact number seven. So for fact number seven, we have the question, do jello jackets and wasps chase you? Yes, they do. They will chase you if you bother them, but they will not follow you far if you don't destroy their nest. So if you try to run away from a wasp, just have in mind that they're way faster than you and they will not give up. They will chase you 300 feet if they have to. Fact number eight. Fact number eight, we have mo one of the most interesting facts. Did you know that paper wasps, jello jackets, they can actually remember your face? It's scientifically proven that wasps and jello jackets remember faces with high accuracy. For real, this went from interesting facts just to be extremely creepy. So I wouldn't mess with a jello jacket if I was you, honestly. Fact number nine. So, jello jackets are attracted to every single color except red. Why? Because they cannot see red, so they just ignore it and they just use that as a favor to look for other colors like yellow and white. Now, that's actually something really good. So, if you want to go to a picnic, just wear something red and you're going to get rid of the jello jackets because they're not going to pay attention to you. Fact number 10. So for fact number 10 is the sting. Now it will start with their stinger piercing through your skin. Then they're going to inject that poisonous venom inside of you. It will start with itching, redness around the sting area. And some people actually also get like fatigue. They start passing out and a lot of, a lot of stuff. And honestly, I haven't been stung by a jello jacket before. I only got stung by a bee in my thumb. And. Oh, uh, yikes. He's hurt in my shit. It hurts. It hurts. So I really don't want to imagine a jello jacket sting. 
fact number 11. Uh, there's no there's no fact number 11. Instead of a fact number 11, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to ask you this question and you're going to comment down below the answer. The question is, what wasp slash hornet is the biggest one in the world? So that is the question. Which wasp or hornet is the biggest one in the world? Comment down below the answer. Tell me your name and where you're from. And if the answer is right, I will give you a shout out in the next video that I make. So that will be all to conclude this video of 10 facts about the yellow jacket. If you like my content, smash that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and leave a comment down below if you have a question about this animal that I left out. If you have a question, comment down below and I'll answer you gladly. And see you next time. I really hope you like my content and subscribe for more. Thank you guys. See you in the next one. Hey, okay guys, so I just let the yellow jacket go. Now I just remembered that they actually remember faces. I, I honestly hope that it's not pissed at me for capturing it for the video because he will follow the heck out of me. He's going to find me. I'm screwed.